Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to disable your super fetch and your prefetch on your Windows PC. To start off with, first you need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and you need to type in services. You now need to click on services and we now need to scroll down until we see super fetch. And once you have found it, you now need to right click and you need to go to properties. We now need to change the startup type to disabled and we now need to press stop. You now need to hit apply and we need to go OK. We can now close down our services and we now need to open up our registry. We now need to go back down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and we need to type in reg edit and we need to open up the reg edit. We now need to navigate to our H key local machine. You then need to go to system and just simply press the right arrow to expand it. And we now need to go to current control set and we then need to go to control and we now need to go to session manager. You now need to expand session manager and we need to find memory management and you now need to click on the prefetch folder and straight away as you can see we have a few keys on the right hand side here. The first key we need to change is the enable prefetcher. We need to just simply double click on that and we now need to change the value to naught. If you set the value to 1, this will enable application launch. If you set the value to 2, this will enable boot prefetching. And if you change it to 3, this will enable application launch and boot prefetching. Once you've changed that, we can now go OK. And we now need to do the same again and double click on enable super fetch. And we now need to change the value to 0 again. And if you have this value on 1, that will enable super fetch for boot files only. If you set the value to two, that will enable super fetch for applications only. And if you set the value to three, that will enable super fetch for both boot files and applications. We can now go ahead and press OK. And if we now restart our machine, both our super fetch and our prefetch will be disabled. And this will definitely help increase your SSD lifespan. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.